Hello, Dull Bedsit Blogger here, and today I had an accidental meat eating incident. <laughs> Rushing to work, grabbed a sandwich from a local so uh, shop, uh, it had a uh, smoked cheddar in it, and I got very excited. Smoked cheddar, ooh, lovely, lovely. Grabbed it and um, went to work. I was eating this sandwich, and I was thinking, this cheddar's a bit funny. And uh, it had turkey or chicken or something in it. Whew. I'll tell you what, my farts now don't smell like mine. So um, I'm going to give myself some chilli just to reinvigorate and run things through, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I thought I would try uh, Nick and Derry's Maruga Mayhem. Uh, it comes in this very nice, it's a very limited homemade sauce which contains, I've got it written down here, it contains uh, maruga chilies, apple cider vinegar, soft dark brown sugar, sun dried tomato paste, onion, garlic, ginger and salt. So um, yes, nice, nice and simple and I'm thinking I've got some yogurt on standby just in case there's something you learn uh, being into chilies when a sauce maker puts the word maruga and madness murder mayhem or anything with maruga best step carefully into this arena because it is going to be Possibly quite warm, but it is going to be warm. I know that. Ooh, I can smell the 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 side of vinegar, but like you know, what's really masking the side of vinegar is the smell of chili um, maruga. I've got a spoon here, and um, I th I'm going to try and cook with this. I'm not going to take a massive. Ah, let me. Ah. I better get a smaller spoon. That's a, that's a, a small mercy, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, well, that definitely fits in. Oh, I'm not. So, that is only a very small bit, but you know, if it's nice, I'll go back, won't I? So yeah, that's just made the smell of the chilli come out even stronger. I'm very glad I've only taken a small bit. Let's put that there. <sighs> yeah, it, uh, you know, I can smell... Stop sniffing it and get on and, and eat it. Oh! <sighs> That's quite warm. Oh, it's going to last a while that. You only need a little bit. It's not as flavoured as I thought it was going to be. Definite heat, you know. Heat, without a doubt. Starts off with a little like, like you've got brown pepper. Tickle on the tongue and just builds up. Mainly a tongue heat, uh, spiky on the lips, smooth on the tongue, kind of heat, and yeah, it's not as strongly flavoured as I was expecting it to be, um, and it's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be, I was expecting it to be a lot sweeter than this. Um, Yeah, it's mainly a heat thing. Yeah, yeah, I can taste the the chili itself. I can't taste any of the sun-dried tomato. You know, you'd have thought sun-dried tomato is quite a strong, full flavour. But yeah, I think it's going to be quite interesting to cook with this, just to see if that encourages more of the flavours to sort of like pop out and emerge. It's 
Yeah, it, it's, it's very much, I think, very much a chilli paste. Uh, possibly the other bits are there more as a way of binding it together. Um, I've got, I've got the drool now. But yeah, that is that is pretty hot. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have any more of that. I didn't do a macho big spoonful or anything. But I think that could work nicely just to drop into something, just to give a bit of heat. And um and you know, it's got it's got the flavour. You can fl taste the the maruga in it. But it's not nearly as sweet. I was expecting it a lot sweeter. Ooh. Yeah, so um I was I was just about to start cooking and realised I didn't have any uh chopped tomatoes, so I went down to my local uh local shop to get some and while I was there, whoo, that sauce hit my stomach and it was like oh, so uh, I bought an apple and, and the tomatoes and the apple on the way back and I've had to open the yoghurt so we got the onions and some pepper and some corn in there let's give that a quick stir and um, well I'm a little bit scared now so I'm only going to add a little tiny bit of this, you know, only that much, I know, but it did appear to be, alright, I think that's enough, yeah, I, once bitten, twice shy. And here's some um, chopped tomato stuff. Give that a spoon another white just to get it clean. That's all that's going in there. Just let that cook down for a bit while the rice cooks and we'll see how it all goes so here we have the uh, finished article my corn and pepper and onion with tomatoes and uh, maruga mayhem it smells pretty good from the smell I'm thinking it it could work really well as a sweet, sour, and hot thing, so I should have put some, if, if I'd put some pineapple or something like that in this. But well, let's give it a taste. I am a little bit scared after um, earlier, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing ring stingy. I could have put a little bit more in. But I think it's just right. It's just sort of like starting to warm up now, and I think it could work really well with pineapple or something quite sweet. It could work for like that kind of a uh, hot, sour, and sweet kind of vibe. Yeah, I think I put enough in. I wouldn't want to put too much more in because it'll just make it too difficult to eat. And uh, I'm not all about that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, definitely um, the paste is there to be cooked with, not eaten straight. Um, I think it's developed the flavour a bit more. Um, maybe I could have put a little bit more in, but I was quite nervous after after it had hit my stomach before, so, uh, yeah. Nick and Derry's uh, Maruga Mayhem. Well, I'm, uh, it's not getting a full-on thumbs up, not like the um, the uh, Fifty Shades of Brown. That gets a full thumbs up. Um, 
I, I'm a little bit wary of this. It's it's quite hot. I might have a few experiments with it, maybe, and uh, see what I can do with it. Bye bye.